So polarity is the next lesson we're going to talk about. I guess it's the same lesson, it's just the next session of this. Uh, we're going to look at a part here and we're going to just go over some of the polarity uh, issues that we're going to talk about. Um, so first off we're going to look at this part, it's a ring. And you'll see that we have eight different holes on here. This part here, if we're looking at it, and we want to put this on a CNC, the first thing we're going to do is look at it and say, where would I want to have my origin? In this case, I think usually with a round part, we'd want the origin right where my cursor is here, right in the center of the part. So if that's the origin, or our program zero, we now are working in four different uh, quadrants of our car uh, Cartesian coordinate system. We're working on the positive positive up here, we're working on the negative positive, then we're working on the negative negative, and then we're working on the positive negative. So as we have all these coordinates, we're going to see how polarity works out for them. All right, so initially, x positive is over here. Anything to the left of uh, the origin is x positive. Anything to the, to the left of it is going to be negative. So point 1 is going to be positive, whereas point 5 is going to be negative. Anything above our origin here is going to be a y positive. Anything below it's going to be a y negative. Alright, so let's look at our first point. It's over two inches in the x, and then the y is right at zero. And we know it's over two inches because if we look up here, we have a radius of two inches out to this circle. So if we bring this circle all the way down to here, that's going to be at two inches. Point two you'll see x is a positive because I'm over in the positive value y is a positive as well now how you get these numbers here that's through trig if we were to actually trig this all out that would give us that point there um, we're just getting it here it's giving it to us <clears throat> but that's how that number would be figured out point three is going to be x of zero because I'm right on my axis line whereas my y is up at two inches because again we're on the radius so any of these quadrant points are going to be using the radius for its dimension. Point four, you'll see we're still using these trigged out numbers but now the x is going to be a negative number the y is a positive because we're still above zero in the y-axis but we're to the left hand side of our origin now so our x is negative. Point five, it's negative in the x of the two inches and y is right on zero and so on and so forth. Notice how point six is negative negative because it's down in this corner. Zero in the x, negative two in the y. And then notice here it just states that because the x is a positive number um, it doesn't need a sign. You don't actually need to put a plus sign in here. The y being negative always needs a negative symbol. So if it's a positive value, just leave it out. Negative has it in there. All right, so that's the xy with the polarity when we're working in four coordinates at the same time. You don't always get the luxury of just having everything positive, positive. All right, so here's our programs here. We're going to look at it now from a front view or an y or an xz view. So if I'm looking at the front of my part, the tool would be coming down from the top here. So usually the top of your stack is going to be set up for your program zero. So everything above your part is going to be a positive number. Anything removing material or down into your part is going to be negative. So we see that here, x or z positive above the part, z negative into or through the part. So we're going <clears> to <throat> look at a drill for example. And we're going to start out with the drill a hundred thousandths above a part. That's a pretty typical number where you would bring the tool close to the part but not touching it. And you'll see the plus is assumed. There's no positive number in front of this. Now we have to drill through our part. So somehow we're going to come down to here to a point. We're going to say that this is a 500 tall part. So we're going to have to come down like 650 thousandths to drill through the part. So we're going to go to z, negative 0.650. This zero could be left out if you wanted to, but we have, it in, we have it in here. It does have to be negative. So we're going to watch this get done. It comes down, drills through our part. 
and the drill has now come through the part here. Now this is half inch thick. We had to go 150 extra to get this tip compensation to break all the way through our part. We're then going to have the drill go back up to a positive 0.1. So the next line of code would have something like a G0, Z.1 to bring it out of here. And now we have a hole through the part. <clears throat> the Z.1 is presumed that it's a positive number. So that's how polarity works with our Cartesian coordinate system. We have our X polarity, our Y polarity, and our Z polarity. Z down into the part is negative, above the part is positive. 